All right. Well, I haven't posted in a while. Figure why not start with, uh, you know, an unbagging or an unboxing. Uh, life came in the way of my consistency, but maybe that'll change. Anyways, first things first, let's get to it. So I got these because bass season opens in two weeks. Um, out in Lake Ontario anyways, then a week after for inland. So pretty much I'm going to look at some goby and herring and any sort of craw, perch, bluegill and alewife imitations. So I got these. So this one's Slayer O. I assume because I guess this company specializes in the Great Lakes. So I assume maybe this is for uh, a Lake Ontario color. Then I got Natural Smoke, which should be, um, you know, I guess maybe imitate a sh uh, Shiner or Alewife, you know, something silver. Same thing with this. It's the Cisco. I really like the sheen on this one. This one actually could pass off for an Alewife or a Shiner even more. Got a lot of um, pearlescent to it, a lot of blues in the sun, all of that. You know, I figured a bigger profile too, considering it is like Ontario. So I assume what these are maybe four inch, I guess, four, four and a half inches. You know, we'll see, anyways. I'm gonna nose hook these with these hooks that I got. I guess it's a Japanese brand because I uh, can't understand the writing. But it's like kind of like a G finesse from Gamagatsu, the um, spin shots. Uh, these, these were actually quite pricey, $8.99. Hopefully, hopefully they're sharp. I mean, they should be. They look sharp. Nice and wide too for the nose hooking of these baits. I got these spark sheds. Now, this is, uh, was it the bass color? Baby bass. Yep, three inch. I plan on using these on my uh, Mega Bass Levante whip snake rod with the uh, Okashira screw heads. I'm going to use these ones, match them up. Should be a really nice finesse setup, especially over there, Lake Ontario. The only problem is they got a lot of pike there, so I can't really, can't really tell much might <laughs> lose lose a lot of these baits then I got these the swing impact 3.5 from Kai Tech, which these are pretty much similar to the uh, spark sheds but these have more scent like a squid scent like they say um, you know like a smallmouth magic like I said Lake Ontario hopefully no pike hits it Three and a half inch. These are going to go on the Okashira screw heads as well. And uh, also on jig heads. If there's no weeds, it would be really nice. Now I got these. Never opened them. Still pretty sealed. So Yum's got some really nice new colors on it. I got the uh, five inch dinger and sinful shad. It's, it's kind of looks like, kind of like a sexy shad in a soft plastic hopefully they work um well not hopefully most likely they will work you know this would be something that being like like a i would say what dark colored water or something with the chartreuse in it it would probably imitate also some some bait in the in the area wacky rig texas rig even neko rigging which i'm actually going to start doing this year very soon actually um gonna hopefully the these still have the classic fall rate of the uh old dingers but we'll see also got this one looks like it's bleeding out cranberry i've seen a lot of good reviews about this color and quite honestly it looks really nice is it the five inch dinker as well? Dinger, not dinker. 
I noticed too a lot of these baits with red it tends to leak out with the with the scented oil that's on it it even has those red red shad dingers do that and even the uh the ribbon tails as well they leak out a lot that's why i put them inside a ziploc bag so back to uh these hooks hopefully they're worth worth their weight it's pretty stout oh my they're sharp so yeah you don't have any line twist pretty sharp nice wide gap over here very good it's nice too because they have this this notch over here and uh, you know it reduces your chances of breaking off if you have a snag if you're fighting a fish or something, at least the weight and the lead will break off while your hook is still connected to the main. So I, you don't really tie a strong, too strong of a knot over here into your weight. Now let's open up this one. This is the Cisco Exozone Slammer. really stuck on them. All right, they got some weight to them in the head. Kind of look resembles slightly a bit of a Power Team Lures JP Hammer Shed. It's a little bigger though, but you could tell that the tail is going to end up floating. They got a bit of scent, but smells more like rubber which doesn't really bother me it's salt impregnated worst comes to worst i can always put some scent in it so this is the cisco color actually looks really nice so here's this one is uh, slayer o i guess this one's the lake ontario color um, don't quote me on that please This looks like a really nice goby color. Oh man. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a gorgeous color. This thing is going to get bit real good, especially because it's very clear water over there. Might have to uh, do uh, my drop shot rod and just set it up because as soon as opening day comes in Lake Ontario. Zone 20, Toronto, Ontario. Going to be going for some smallies and some largemouth. So now this is the uh, natural smoke, which doesn't have much of a sheen like the Cisco color, the pearlescence. But like I said, clear water. You don't want anything too, too crazy. That's beautiful. So my main concern is pike, but you know, if a pike hits these, it's not so bad, but it's still a bit pricey if you consider a break off with these baits and, and a hook. Yeah, rubber rubber smell but salt impregnated, I assume at the head. And the body and the tail is pretty thin. So now the spark shot. These things are gorgeous. Oh yeah, clear water, lar uh, largemouth bass imitation. It actually imitates a lot of fish. With the Okashir screw head, going to give it a really nice action. Like I said, small baits. I'm going to use 7 pound Sunline FC Sniper. And just finesse it right out with the Mega Bass Levante Whip Snake Rod. Alright, last but not least, 
the Ultra Shear screw head. These are the smaller ones, the uh, 1 16th ounce, and they come with a 3 out. 8 99 for a pack of 3. Oh yeah, it's a nice stout and sharp hook. And if you notice the blades, they're, um, they're different. One looks like it's got a bend on it. It should cause some vibration. Actually, not a some, a lot. Then you have a keeper right here. Gotta hold your baits in. Honestly, I think when you're dealing with a lot of soft plastic, regardless of what kind of keeper you have, you're gonna need some gel glue. Crazy glue gel. Just put a dab right here. Make sure you don't get it on the blade. Otherwise, you're not going to really have any action. Yeah, you probably feel it a lot on the rod too. Considering it's extremely sensitive, extremely finessey. Probably cast it a mile too. Very nice. Nice color too. If these start working, then I'll grab a few more different colors and sizes. But until then, I'm going to stick with something as natural as possible. In conclusion, um, I haven't updated in a long time. I said that in the beginning of the video, life happens, right? You know, shit happens. But, you know, safe to say now I'm pretty good. And I did go fishing last year, not as much as I'd like, but I ended up going. You know, got a few nice bass, even went for some steelhead and salmon. It was a lot of fun. So... Um, my next video, I'm going to probably modify my tackle warehouse bag to be a little more efficient, especially with, uh, soft plastics, you know, you know, if you want to carry some soft plastics, at least increase some space, you can throw some slim Plano stowaway tackle trays as well. Be more space efficient, um, and sorting everything out. So I hope you like this video and Give a thumbs up, please comment, like, and subscribe. Like I said, you know, it's been a while, a little rusty with these videos, gonna get better. Especially in two weeks when Zone 20, Lake Ontario, bass opens. Largemouth, smallmouth. Can't wait.